Forget alternate uniforms. It was more like an alternate universe here on Owen Field on Saturday. Just three years ago, the Sooners were impervious at home, having rattled off 39 straight wins in Norman. It had literally been forever since Baylor had beaten Oklahoma here, but none of that mattered on Saturday as the Bears danced all over Oklahoma, handing the Sooners the worst home loss of the Bob Stoops era, 48 to 14. Quick, quick, let's go. Things actually started out reasonably well for OU as Trevor Knight found Micaiah Quick for an eight yard touchdown midway through the first quarter. It was Quick's first touchdown of his career and with Sterling Shepard out with that leg injury, Quick led the Sooners with 94 receiving yards. Four and a half minutes later, Knight found Deron Neal for the nine yard touchdown and the Sooners led 14-3 very late in the first quarter. It, it felt good, you know, it felt we had the momentum on our side, you know, we just tried to add more, more fuel to the fire and, you know, try to keep the crowd into it. And, um, you know, we thought we, we had them on the edge of the seat and, you know, we tried to kick it down, but, you know, they're a good team and they responded well. That's where the wheels fell off. As Baylor scored three touchdowns before the half, Bryce Petty proved he was indeed ready for OU as he completed 32 of 42 passes for 387 yards and one 33-yard touchdown pass to sophomore receiver Corey Coleman, who had a record 15 receptions against OU for 245 yards. Uh, just do what you can to try to make a play, you know, to flip that momentum. Uh, you know, it's kind of hard today, uh, but, you know, they got to come from somebody. Uh, you know, somebody has to make that play, you know, especially on the defense. we got to get a turnover or something, you know, to cause that momentum again. Meanwhile, Trevor Knight struggled once again, completing only 12 of 27 passes for 146 yards with the two touchdowns, but one virtual pick six interception. Baylor linebacker Bryce Hager took it back all the way to the one yard line, and two seconds later, Baylor had scored. At the end of the day, Baylor had scored 45 unanswered points, and adding injury to insult, Trevor Knight was taken off the field on a cart after being sacked on fourth and two, with the Sooners trailing by 27 with 11-11 remaining. After the game, teammates said Knight was up and walking around and that his prognosis is good, which is more than can be said for the Sooners' season. We didn't play very well today, and uh, they played really well and beat us. So that's where it's at. Bob, were you happy with your players' effort in the second half? Uh, effort, yeah, where our execution was, was poor. There wasn't anybody out there stopping, quitting. Uh, you know, that, that isn't the case. You know, any time, that, 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 that is not the case. Uh, the guys, uh, again, we, we didn't execute very well and, and got whipped. Well, there's, you know, there's so much stress on your defense um, when you play Baylor. And it's not only the scheme, it's the, it's the players that make the, the scheme what it is. And the matchups uh, become, you know, very difficult. And you kind of, you know, which way you want to die sometimes. You know what I mean? Is it slow? Is it quick? Don't pay attention to the outside noise. I mean, I, 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 there, there's no doubt. But at the end of the day, preseason predictions, you know, where you're at today, what you were called last week, you know, what you're going to be called next week, you have no control over it. You have control over what you do when you step inside this building every single day. This is something we talk to our players, preach to our players every single day, and, and we're going to find out what type of, you know, what we're made of. The last time the Sooners lost back-to-back -back home games was 1998, the final year of John Blake's tenure. So maybe it's not such a bad thing that Oklahoma now hits the road to play at Terrible Texas Tech at 2.30 on Saturday. Reporting from Owen Field in Norman, Damon Fontenot, News OK Sports.